in Rome and this is Tibber Island. It's the site of an ancient healing temple or Asclepion and the island is still used as a site for medicine. If you look at the building on the far left, this is actually a hospital that has been open in one form or the other since Roman times. It's actually said that this was a refuge for Jews during the Second World War. The doctor in charge at the time invented a story of a contagious disease so that people could stay there without investigation. The basilica in front of you, the church building, is built on the original site of the healing temple and it is said that around here you can find traces of the original actual carvings or engravings in recycled brickwork. In particular we're looking out for a wand of Asclepius, a snake on a, a stick but haven't found it yet. Which brings me to the actual story of the founding of the Asclepius here which Kindra will tell us about now. Okay so since ancient times apparently the island here was used as a very easy place to send criminals and people who had contagious diseases. In about 292 BC there was a plague in Rome so they asked Sybil who of course was the person to ask in all matters relating to spirituality what to do and she said that they needed to uh, pay tribute to Asclepius, god of healing makes sense you have a plague you ask for help from the god of healing so they set off and in one of the stories they actually took a snake which wound itself around the mast I believe on the ship and took that to be a great sign and they sailed off where they, to Greece where they got a beautiful statue of Asclepius and brought it back to Rome. And as the boat was sailing down the river, the snake swam across onto the island, ah. thus showing that the god Asclepius wished them to build a temple here in Rome on the island. Now the um, island itself later was made into the shape of a boat to reflect this origin story. Oh, I can see that, yes, that's very boat shape. So you can see you've got the sort of prow and at the back yeah. you would have the... Ah. Well let's carry on walking and see if we can see the remains of this Clepis which may be around here. I think it's very interesting, I love that story that uh, there's a plague in Rome. So they go to the clairvoyant, so the prophet, the Sybil, to ask what to do. And they, she tells them, build a hospital. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a very wise person to point out the obvious solution. This is the only viewpoint we could find of the original structure of the Asclepian. If you look just past the scaffold on the right, near the bushes, you'll see a smaller scaffold and it's probably very hard to make out on a video. Above that there is a, a brick with a wand of Asclepius there. Now what is interesting from my point of view is to the right there is a small arch which looks to me like the remains of a cryptoportia, an underground chamber, probably used as an arbiton, a place for sacred sleep and meditation. 
but it's hard to make out from here if that is an ancient remnant or a more modern addition put to prop everything up.